Hi, this is Dave Erickson. I wanted to give you an update on the DIY SMU project. Um, made some changes. Uh, the new amplifier board is done, but this is the old amplifier board, so it's, I'll show you the new one in a minute. Um, the, uh, and the big change is that CPU board. Here's this CPU board. This is the uh, backside of it, it and it uh, has a Teensy processor now uh, running the uh, running the program. This is the connection to the Nexion display. This is the connection to the to the uh, to the hardware to the main board, and then uh, and then these are the uh, push button controls and the uh, encoder. There's another push button here for on off and 5 volt regulator and and here's the fan control circuitry which I haven't I haven't debugged that yet I'm just running the fan at full speed now but this will allow us to vary, vary the speed of the fan as a function of how much power it's drawing so if you look at the other side you see these are where the controls mount so the controls and the and the CPU mount on the right on the front panel so here are the controls and the buttons uh, there's the encoder knob and you can see I'm varying the voltage on the LCD panel uh, main board not much has gone on in that I've done some minor uh, minor changes uh, but no nothing big and like I said I laid out the new the new amplifier board but the big change <clears throat> is that I now have a case for this, a workable case. Um, I built the one prototype and I'll show you in just a sec. So here I'd like to demonstrate the, uh, the new enclosure. Um, has an AC on switch and line cord in the back. Turn it on, takes a few seconds to boot up and there's the there's the display. We're in uh, voltage mode with the output on, output off, output on, and there's the uh, there's the voltage. Let's see, you can see the see the voltage measure is uh, is pretty pretty darn close to the to the uh, set voltage. Um, so the front panel has the encoder, encoder knob, the left and right uh, switch buttons that control the cursor. Uh, these are these are going to be up down buttons, and this is going to be on off, but they're not they're not currently connected to any software. And the front panel, I chose the uh, six banana jack approach, uh, similar to the uh, Agilent, uh, but Agilent uses a six jack layout. So these are the force. And these are the measure, and this is the guard, uh, the plus guard, and this is just a chassis ground, similar to the Agilent uh, approach. And let me move the camera around, and I'll give you a, uh, a tour of the inside and the rear panel. So this is the new enclosure. If, if you recall from my previous video, I struggled with uh, finding a half rack, off the shelf half rack uh, enclosure and finally decided to I would probably be better off just building my own I, I was able to find these rails notice the rails with with all the holes in them and they they have on the ends they have a tapped um, tapped holes and so you can just mount the front and rear panel on simple screws um, everything is metric these are um, eight millimeter square and the holes are on eight millimeter um, centers and they're all uh, just drilled holes for uh, uh, M4 hardware and the, and the end the ends are tapped for M4 and these uh, rails are available in pretty much one inch but the metric equivalent to one inch so 25 millimeter um, lengths uh, and I was able to find this one, which was uh, just over 11 inches, which is a perfect length for this uh, for this enclosure. 
and uh, I've been very happy with them. They work extremely well. If you, if you notice the, the bottom and the sides are just mounted on with nuts and bolts. And I, for now I just have two, two screws holding each, each side. Uh, the back side, um, yeah, you can see the bottom and the sides are mounted with just nuts and bolts. Um, the heat sink is a quarter inch aluminum plate and two and a half inch by quarter inch just fits in there. Uh, I may go to a smaller heat sink for the, for the next version, but so far it works really well. You can see the uh, you can see the uh, the transistors are mounted to the mounted to the heatsink with uh, insulation hardware, and this is the new amplifier board. It's uh, let's see, it's about uh, it's about an inch or uh, sorry, uh, three quarters of an inch shorter than the previous board, so it fits in here nicely. Notice the wiring no longer interferes with the fan on the front or with the uh, jacks uh, on the back or with the jacks on the back and the main board is still mounted on two inch spacers uh, get it you know this enclosure is a little bit higher a little bit longer and a little bit wider and boy it made a big difference in the, uh, in the way things fit I came up with a new AC inlet I didn't need a rear panel power switch because there's a because I want to use a front panel power switch instead so I got a new AC inlet uh, it does not have a uh, does not have a power switch it just has a filter um, toroidal transformer 12 volt power supply and the AC inlet switch And there's the, as I say, there's the main board mounted to two inch, two inch spacers. Here's the rear panel. Uh, three holes, one for the 60 millimeter fan, one for the USB connector. Notice I just use a USB extension cable, and that plugs right directly into the Teensy on the other end and provides a nice uh, USB. What's it called? A, A, I think, connector here. Which is the sort of the standard for instruments and the AC inlet, which just has the AC, the fuse, and the filter. The front panel is uh, kind of where the, the, in, the new part and the interesting part. And you can see the, the board, which contains the controls on one side and the Teensy processor on the other side. Also, it's where all the connections for the uh, USB, the Nexteon, the little four pin connection, 12 volts in, and you can see the Teensy processor there with a flashing light and the, uh, and the uh, 5 volt regulator which is just a linear uh, uh, basic 5 volt regulator. It takes in 12 volts and generates 5 volts. And that, that ribbon cable connection drives the, uh, the main board. And there's some there's some circuitry for a fan control on there now, but I don't have it hooked up yet. But that ought to be pretty straightforward. And there's the Nexteon display with its connector. So I'm pretty excited about the new uh, front panel and the new uh, enclosure. I think that's uh, that's going to be a big improvement in the in the project. And you can see here's the original uh, front panel. Uh, with the with the uh, uh, control buttons extremely close to the uh, 150 volt uh, plus or minus uh, jacks and the original uh, original front layout. So here's the original processor board with the Arduino uh, Leonardo style processor. This is one that one that I made myself. You can see there's the there's the USB connector and there's the connector to the uh, this was designed for an OLED display, but of course I don't use the OLED. I use the the, teens, uh, the uh, Nexteon display. And oops, sorry. Here's the here's the connector for the uh, for the main board. So yeah, I was a little nervous about uh, porting the code from Arduino 8-bit to 
teensy 32 bit. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've worked with both processors in the past, and uh, it went uh, extremely well. Uh, it took about a, a day to get all the code ported and fix a couple of bugs and uh, and make the uh, all the controls uh, port all the controls over. And you can see I use a uh, I just use a, a a connector with a couple of encoders uh, and and controls. So yeah, it all worked out uh, pretty well. Thank you.